modes of reproduction used by single organisms organisms reproduce to continue the chain of life to pass on its genes which are acquired over very long time reproduction is essential process by which individuals produce new individuals of the same kind and this process is very important for the existence of life on earth different organisms reproduce in different ways let us have a detailed look at how different organisms reproduce the organisms reproduce in two ways asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction asexual reproduction in this process only a single parent is involved and no gamete formation takes place asexual reproduction is further divided into fission fragmentation budding vegetative propagation regeneration and spore formation fission this process takes place in unicellular organisms it is of two types binary fission and multiple fission binary fission the organisms reproduce by binary fission only when adequate amounts of food and moisture is available in this process the mother cell divides into two daughter cells each containing a nucleus for example amoeba divides by binary fission multiple fission the unicellular organisms reproduce by multiple fission when the conditions are unfavorable with no proper amounts of food moisture and temperature in this process the organism forms a cyst around itself the nucleus divides and each daughter nuclei is surrounded by a membrane plasmodium undergo this process fragmentation fragmentation also known as a splitting method of reproduction and is seen in many organisms such as cyanobacteria fungi and many plants among plants fragmentation is the regularly found and is type of asexual reproduction fragmentation is a very common type of vegetative reproduction in plants during the process of fragmentation a fragment of the parent forms a new being it occurs when a shoot that is rooted becomes detached from the main group budding in this process an outgrowth is produced from the cell from which a new organism is developed the developed organism remains attached to the parent organism and detaches only when it matures leaving behind scar tissue the process is prominent in yeast and hydra vegetative propagation in this process a new plant grows from the fragments of the parent plant or a specialized reproductive structure the offspring are the exact clones of the original plant and there is no mixing of dna the common forms of vegetative propagations are grafting layering cutting tuber tissue culture etc there are many plants in which parts like the root stem and leaves develop into new plants under appropriate conditions plants raised by vegetative propagation can bear flowers and fruits earlier than those produced from seeds regeneration in organisms like hydra and planaria we had observed that if they are cut into several pieces each part grows into a new organism this is known as regeneration the specialized cells proliferate and produce a large number of cells these proliferated cells undergo changes 
and form different cells and tissues. The sequential process of these changes is known as development. Many fully differentiated organisms have the ability to give rise to new individual organisms from their body parts. Spore formation During spore formation, the organisms form knob-like structures called a sporangium. This happens during unfavorable conditions in an inadequate supply of moisture and nutrients. When the conditions are favorable, they begin to grow. The sporangia contain spores that develop into new individuals. The spores are covered by thick walls that protect the spores until they come in contact with moisture and begin to grow. Even in many simple multicellular organisms, specific reproductive parts can be identified. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe our channel.